Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the Floors channel. Today we're going to be talking about a game that has come out of retirement after years of being pretty much overtaken by every other FPS on the market right now, especially Valorant. That game is none other than CSGO, but we're specifically going to be talking about Counter-Strike 2, which is the newest addition to the Counter-Strike series. In this video, we're going to be going over everything we know so far about the game, such as everything that Valve has released within the last month about the game. But before we actually get into it, before anyone is confused, this game is not a brand new separate game from CSGO, it's going to be a free upgrade added to CSGO, sort of like what Blizzard did with Overwatch 2. But now with the intro of the way, let's get into the game starting with how would we even get your hands on the game in the first place and the release date. First, let's speak about the release date, which as of right now hasn't been announced yet. The only thing related to a release date for this game that Valve has mentioned is in the multiple teasers of this game, both found on the Counter-Strike 2 website and on Valve's YouTube channel, which at the end of these videos, it says coming summer 2023, which is pretty close to this point. And as all of you know, as of right now, the game is in the beta stages and has been given out to many CSGO players to test out. But how can you get your hands on this beta I hear you asking? Well it's a combination of a bit of luck but also based on your account stats. What I mean by this is that Valve has listed a criteria that your account must meet in order to be able to be in the pool of potential beta testers which fall under your Steam account settings, trust factor, and playtime. The first requirement Steam account settings refers to your VAC status also known as your Valve anti-cheat status which you can check within your Steam app settings. Meeting this requirement lets Valve know they're not handing over their beta test to someone with a history of cheating within CSGO or other other games for that matter. Trust factor value is the next requirement you must meet, which unlike your Steam account standing, you can't actually check, but is tracked by Valve themselves. This trust factor takes into account the total amount of time a player has spent playing CSGO along with all other Valve games on Steam, and tracks how many times the player has been reported in-game for cheating and all other offenses carried out within a game. This again, like Steam account standing, allows Valve to evaluate a player's behavioral track record to choose whether or not they are deserving of the beta test, as we all know that whether it's in Counter-Strike or in any other games, toxicity and cheating does not get you far. And the final requirement you must meet in order to have a chance to receive an invite to play Counter-Strike 2 is the amount of playtime you have in CSGO. Now there's not too much to explain about this as amount of playtime should already give you some idea of what this means. But there's one thing that I must say and is a pretty important fact relating to this. As you can see in this tweet on screen right now from CS2's official Twitter account, the only playtime that is counted towards your chances to get the beta test is your playtime prior to the start of the limited test, which is referring to the beta. So yeah, if you're in the process of grinding right now, trying to get your hands on this game, you can stop because it will not make your chances of receiving an invite any higher than it already is. But if you're having fun playing the game, then be my guest and keep playing. But the only way to know if you actually got an invite to the beta is to open the game and pray to God because once you open the game on the main menu, this will show up which means that you have been invited to play the beta. All you have to do now is follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be able to play CS2. And as I said before, this is not a completely different game, it's a free update to CSGO and it will be carrying over all of your equipment that you may have unlocked in your time playing. And as of right now, Dust 2 is the only map eligible to play on either deathmatch or unranked comp modes. I assume other maps will either be added over time, or since the game is coming out this summer, we'll just have to wait for the game to actually release. But since we're talking about the maps, well, let's talk about the differences CS2 brings compared to CSGO starting with the map changes. As you might know, CSGO was made in the Source engine created by Valve and has been that way since the release of the game. But for CS2, the game will be moved over to Source 2, which again is created by Valve and is a more updated version of the Source engine, hence the 2 in its name. So with that little explanation, out of the way, the map changes coming to CS2 are going to fall under three different categories, which are one, touchstone maps, two, upgraded maps, and three, overhaul maps. Let's go over touchstone maps first since I named it first. Touchstone maps are going to be maps with literally no changes to the actual map whatsoever and keeping the original textures of the maps as seen in CSGO. The only changes that these maps are going to be bringing with the move to Source 2 are mostly lighting changes. For example, Dust 2 will be staying the exact same as seen in CSGO, but the lighting will be much different within the map, with textures as stated before staying the same. Upgrade maps on the other hand will have a lot more visual improvements to them such as having more realistic materials, lighting, and reflection seen in the game. One of the maps that will be an upgraded map is Nuke. As seen on the screen right now, you can see the difference between how it looks in CSGO compared to the changes made in CS2. It is essentially the same as Touchstone but will have a lot more visual updates to make the map look as the name suggests, upgraded. And finally, Overhaul maps with maps such as Overpass will be a part of. These maps are going to be built from the ground up from scratch, replacing all the textures from CSGO and replacing them with more modern and better looking visuals. The maps in general are pretty much the same in reference to gameplay, but you will see very different sceneries in these maps as seen on screen right now with Overpass as the map will look very different compared to how you saw it in CSGO, but the maps will be played out pretty much the exact same. The tick rate update is the next and probably one of the most interesting things to come out of Valve's Counter-Strike 2, which is now tick rate does not matter whatsoever regarding gameplay. If you're sitting there not knowing what any of that means, don't worry, I'll explain it. Tick rate essentially refers to how fast the game reacts to an input you enter on your keyboard and mouse. For example, if you click 
click on your mouse to shoot, your tick rate determines the speed at which your in-game character shoots their gun in comparison to when you clicked your mouse. So if your tick rate is higher, it means the game will react much faster to when you enter an input compared to someone with a lower tick rate. But this new update in Counter-Strike 2, Valve is claiming that tick rate is not going to matter whatsoever, so whenever you click a button, your character will have an instant feedback no matter what, which is interesting to say the least. I guess when the game comes out, we'll have to see how this goes, but for now, this is all the information we have so far from Valve on this, so we'll have to see how this plays out once the game releases. And on the topic of seeing things play out, let's talk about the new gameplay mechanics that are being added to the game as a final topic of this video, which is a very interesting and cool set of changes from Valve for this game, so let's get into it. The first and biggest gameplay change that is pretty unique is the addition of responsive smokes. Now what are responsive smokes may be asking? Well, responsive smokes is a new smoke bomb mechanic as they will now be interacting with the environment around them. An example of this as seen on screen right now, you're able to shoot through the smoke and part of it will be blown away as you can see through the hole you shoot. Another way it interacts with the environment around them is that it fills up spaces in whatever shape or size they are. Such as seen on screen right now, it's able to fill up these two different shapes, one circular and one irregular, while the smoke stays put and doesn't spill out of the wall. But the biggest part of smokes now is that you're able to blow away part of the smoke with the grenade and be able to see the other side. Response to smokes seems like they're going to be a really big game changer as smokes can be an advantage and disadvantage in different situations for both sides. And one more thing before we move on from smokes is that they will now be able to respond to light, making it look more realistic and that's a big theme for CS2. And now for some of the smaller detail changes that have been added to CS2 that wasn't in the original game which gives it a more modern FPS feel compared to before. The first change is the fact that you can now shoot someone and you will now see an impact on your opponent easier by the blood trail that comes off of them. This makes it much easier for a player to know that if they've hit the target or if they've missed all their shots compared to just seeing the name on screen and hard to see blood that's found in CSGO. Even though this is one of the more smaller changes in the game, it just makes it a whole lot easier to know if you've hit a target or you've missed it. Next up is environment effects such as explosions, fire, C4 lighting, and more according to the CS2 website. This is due to the Source 2 engine that CS2 will be developed in as this is all just to make the game feel and look more modern as CSGO has been out for more than a decade now. UI enhancements will be getting a full overhaul such as changes at the HUD and will be making communicating about whatever is happening in the game much easier. Accurate audio will be the next change which will allow sounds to be heard much easier and stand out much more. And finally, as said before, all of your items that you have collected in CSGO will be transferred to CS2 as it's just an update, but your collectibles will also be updated within CS2 with lighting and reflection changes to look more realistic so they react with the environment around them. And with those last two changes, we have reached the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope this video allowed you to understand everything that's been released so far by Valve about Counter-Strike 2 and makes you more hyped about this game because to be honest, most of you watching this won't be getting the beta, but I just wanted to break everything down for you in one video so you don't have to do research yourself. If I did miss anything, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. This has been everything we know so far by Counter-Strike 2. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all in the next video.